Hi everyone, this is Jackson Brax from Wormhole Society. My real name is Rob, but in game they call me Jackson Brax. And today I am going to show you how to participate in the current Project Discovery. This is the third iteration of Project Discovery, and in this iteration we are helping fight the coronavirus by isolating cell clusters in immune response. So first thing I'll show you is when you open up Project Discovery you are going to see this. This is, it's my understanding that this is a sample of blood that has been infected by the coronavirus or a virus and each and every one of these dots is a cell which is part of the human body's immune response. I think these could be white blood cells or antibodies, I don't know for sure. Your job is to draw polygons around where the cells are to help scientists understand how the human body responds to viruses or how, more specifically how the immune system responds to these. You click submit, it transmits and uh, my accuracy was not all that great, I could have done better. These yellow or orange areas are what's called the golden standard and this is scientifically what the polygon shape should look like. I saw some cells over here, that's why I included it, but my polygons are different, yet they still showed that I was accurate. You can choose up to eight cells, clusters, no less than one. So you cannot click submit, and you get a little bit of disk, you cannot click submit without isolating a cell cluster. The rewards you get are you get experience points which helps you level up, you get a little bit of ISK and the amount of ISK depends on your accuracy. I am 98.3 percent accurate so it rounds it up to 99 so I get 99,000 ISK per submission. Now the first thing I want to say is you will not plex your account doing this. It is true that at later stages in very high levels you can get some plex. You get a reward crate, you open it up and you get ship skins. I'll give an example of a skin here. This is the Marshall uh, Biosecurity Responder skin at very high levels. Usually you get one or two skins per reward crate and like I said plex on very rare occasions. You also get blueprint copies which you still have to manufacture yourself but they can become valuable later I would imagine you also get clothes that you can put on your character to show that you participated in this new iteration of project discovery I'm click continue now what exactly are we looking at here? I've been thinking about this and based on my current understanding of what we're looking at and what is happening in the project discovery and the samples we're looking at, I think a, a way to explain what you're looking at here would be to use the galaxy map. And it's being slow Come on. I don't know why it's being so slow. There we go. Now, if I have had never played EVE Online before, ever, and this was the only information I had about the current conflicts happening in EVE Online, there wouldn't be a whole lot I would be able to determine from this, but I could 
at least see some things. This is showing ships destroyed in the last hour. Now, what I might do if I was, say, if I were, for example, a massively multiplayer online gaming historian or a sociologist, and I didn't have read it and I couldn't ask people directly what and why things are happening in EVE Online. And this is the only thing I had to go with. Well, the first thing I, I imagine, the first thing I might do, is I might start figuring out where the current conflicts are happening. And I might do this by using this here. Snipping tool, new, come on. And I might take a screenshot of this. And I might start with uh, a highlighter and I might start drawing outlines of where I see current conflicts happening. Then when I'm done doing this I might submit this sample to an expert in EVE Online who would know better than I would about the different politics of the different regions of space. They might know a lot more about why players are fighting in certain areas. And they could do a better, more in-depth analysis with their expertise and training in as to why conflicts are happening. But the first step is to figure out where the conflicts are happening. In thinking about the current Project Discovery, you could argue that this is a sample of a galaxy that has been infected by conflict and strife and the players are responding to the different conflicts and by studying where the players are fighting you can gain better insight into why the players are fighting. I'm not going to save and so, in a way, you are answering questions of where things are happening so that a scientist with more experience and years of training and expertise can start answering questions of why and how in order to better understand how the virus functions, how it infects things, how the human body responds, and hopefully we can develop a vaccine based on this data. I think this, I'm going to zoom in here a little bit, this might be a, a better example of what I'm trying to demonstrate. You can kind of see the main conflict happening here and then other things just like you have a big cell here and a smaller cell which I believe over here. It is my understanding that at the time of this video artificial intelligence is not good enough to do this automatically. You need a human eye. Your polygons that you draw can be no less than three, so a triangle and they can be no more than 10 uh, decagon. If you try to do more, the game will automatically fill in the last side. You can click on the polygons, you can move them around, you can delete them. Polygons cannot overlap. The scientists are looking at this image and they are looking at this image. They need to look at, the images need to be completely separate. You also cannot cross a polygon with itself. This is also not allowed. And like I said, you cannot submit anything until you have found a sample. This is a very rough polygon. The game will cut you off after 200 submissions you can only do 200 submissions a day 
I have done so far 434 as far as I can tell the one second here the images here are just stock images of viruses I do not believe that the shape of your polygon that you draw will affect the images here and that's pretty much it you are helping real science by isolating come on by isolating where cell clusters are in response to the infected blood just in the same way that you might isolate where players are fighting each other to gain a better in the new Eden galaxy to gain a better understanding of the current conflicts in New Eden. I encourage everyone to participate in Project Discovery. The coronavirus has ruined people's lives, it has shut down economies, it has killed people. And this is one way that we can help fight the virus. Another way is to connect your computer to Folding at Home. Folding at Home is a distributed computing application where you connect your computer to a network of other computers and you volunteer your processing power to help run scientific calculations to help fight the virus. So, I hope you have enjoyed this Project Discovery third iteration tutorial. I encourage everyone to do it again, and I'm going to continue helping real science. Thank you for watching. Oh, just got a little bit of isk. You can make uh, you probably make about 30 million a, a day if you do this correctly. Oh, that how am I 95% accurate? That that's not oh well. <laughs>